Hi, my name's Tony. I'm one of the business growth experts at UpCoach. I wanted to share a story with you about people that are the bottlenecks within their business. And this story is about one of my clients that I worked with over a year ago. She became the bottleneck of her business and I needed to be able to help her see this so that she could change the way that she approached things but also how she went about what she did in the way that she did it. What do I mean by a bottleneck within the business? As a business owner, you can't be the person that's actually stopping the business moving forward. In fact, you should be that driving force. This is an opportunity for you to become aware of what you're doing and, and what bottleneck you're causing within your own business. If you're not aware of that, maybe take a little bit of time to have a look and see if you are the person that's stopping everything from moving forward. As a coach, I get into a business and I can often see this and we've, not, we've been known to say this in the past where if we can take the business owner out of the business, we can move it forward much quicker. I don't want that to be the situation with you. What I want you to do is to understand what this actually is all about so that you can be aware of it and you can then look and see how you can change that. If I go back to talking about what the issues were with Sarah and then you can understand this example and hopefully this will give you a bit of a roadmap that you can apply into your own business. Sarah's issue was negativity. Everything that we went to Sarah with was, no, we can't do that. No, that's not possible. No, I don't want to go down that path. No, 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 no. So we needed to be able to find a way in which Sarah could see things a little bit differently because we weren't actually able to do anything without Sarah's buy-in or without Sarah actually owning what we were looking to do. And the problem was Sarah was always looking at the worst outcome without really any facts or without really any background data to actually substantiate why she wouldn't move forward. So we needed to find an approach that actually helped her see things differently and could actually then start to break it down for herself and almost craft a new model that she could work with that would help her actually progress these things that were in her business that were not allowing her to move forward. Forward. We came up with a very simple process and we broke things down into four different areas in terms of being able to identify what the outcome would be if we did actually do this. What would that actually look like? What would it feel like? What were the risks associated with doing what we were about to do and how could we mitigate those risks in order to actually reduce the actual impact of what she was thinking was going to happen. The other thing that we did was made it really clear in terms of what that pathway looked like, what the time frame was, and also who needed to be involved in that. Because often Sarah would see it that it was all about she had to do everything. So once we started to delegate some of that responsibility to others, Sarah was able to actually see that it wasn't necessarily all her, it was what other people would do. And the other people in the business were quite prepared to move things on, much quicker and faster than what Sarah was. This change happened quite quickly. Once actually Sarah saw the new model and adapted to it and, and got comfortable with it, before long, Sarah was actually the champion of change. And then her whole negativity turned into something that was a lot more positive and got her the outcomes that she was looking for. Some of the biggest things that we'd put on the table at the beginning of the year, Sarah took them on board and were able to actually instigate them almost just with the brush of her hand. This time of change can come about. It's about how you see things, but it's also about being able to break them down in order so that you can understand how it can be managed a lot better. If that's an area where you're struggling at the moment, I highly recommend that you take a little bit of self-awareness and have a look at what's going on with you and maybe take a similar sort of approach to what I've just described.